Godric the Grafted, formerly known as Godric the Golden, is a descendant of the Golden Lineage, the bloodline of Queen Merica and her first spouse, Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, though he's not a very well-respected descendant of royalty. Hi guys, I'm Slick, and today we're talking about the entire lore of Godric the Grafted. Subscribe if you learn something new. Though Godric is a descendant of the Golden Lineage, he's only distantly related to Merica's bloodline, his divine blood being weak and diluted. But even if he is just a distant relative and perhaps the weakest of the entire Golden Lineage, Godric idolizes Godfrey, believing himself to be lord of all that is golden and the true successor to Godfrey. He's a ruthless and cruel tyrant, often considered a coward and a nobody by the other demigods. Even before the Shattering, he was seen as the weakest of the entire bloodline. To the other demigods, Godric is just a weak, old, cowardly man, barely even a nobleman. Just someone who demands respect due to his weak, noble blood. Godric seeks the golden glory once known to his ancestor Godfrey, something unattainable to him, as he's only a distant relative and not the direct offspring of Godfrey and Queen Merica. So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. Despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, he's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Lindgrave's northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough already. After the Shattering, Godric inherited the Great Rune from the center of the Elden Ring, referred to as the Anchor Ring. During this time, Godric was also banished from Langdell, the royal capital. On his way out, he stole a multitude of treasures from the capital, including the Mimic's Veil, an artifact that can be used to disguise yourself as another object or person. Godric used the Mimic's Veil to escape the royal capital, hiding among the fleeing women to flee the city himself. He then made his way south to Limgrave, with an army of soldiers who also fled Langdell. He took his place in Stormvale Castle, using it as his residence as well as a hiding place from General Rodan and others. When Melania visited the land south of Langdell, Godric insulted her, which wasn't very smart on his part. It led to a confrontation, which ended with Godric being defeated in battle and humiliated, begging her to take mercy on his life. Good old Godric, humiliating himself once again. So, he was humiliated by both Rodan and Melania, some show of power for the blood of Godfrey. Stormvale Castle is also where Godric began his practice of grafting the thing that got him his new name in the first place. Let's get into that. Being considered weak, all the while seeing himself as above the others led him to become power hungry. He began hunting and slaughtering many other people and different types of creatures, and keeping their bodies for his collection and for grafting. Uh, this is gonna get my video flagged by YouTube. Grafting is the act of severing the limbs and body parts of the dead and attaching them to oneself in order to gain power. Yeah, just a little creepy. Godric has grafted many parts to his own weak and frail body, making him appear as a sort of fleshy, walking monstrosity. I mean, just look at all those arms. It did make him more powerful than before, but also less of a golden, or someone attached to Godfrey in the golden lineage. The grafting is what led to him being known as the lesser Godric the Grafted, instead of his former name, Godric the Golden. He often sent his soldiers out on hunts for Tarnished after their return to the lands between, capturing them as new subjects for his grafting. Not only did Godric perform these horrible disturbances acts upon himself, he also grafted onto other creatures, and attempted to make creatures of his own, as you can see all around Stormvale Castle. Bodies and parts are scattered everywhere around the castle, and set an example as to what you'll be facing for anyone brave enough to wander inside. Also, doesn't Limgrave, where Godric and Stormvale Castle are, sound a lot like Limgrave? Like a grave of unwanted body parts not fit for grafting? Anyway, Godric is looked down upon by almost everyone, even his closest servants, who he looks down upon, unjustly punishes and pushes around for his own gain. Reduced from even the weakest of the golden lineage to just a power-hungry tyrant who defaces his own body for power. Godric wields an axe engraved with the figure of the lion-like beast, a symbol of Godfrey who he idolizes. His army also wears this symbol, as well as the symbol of the Erdtree on their armor and weaponry. Using these symbols is a way to attempt to connect himself to Godfrey in the golden lineage. But Godric and his army are all stuck yearning for for their past, their golden past, before the shattering. Back when things were good, and back when they all had a home in the royal capital. All hoping to return to it one day in a splendor of golden light. Do you like Godric's story? Let me know in the comments. 